Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have another extreme cleaning motivational video for you. This week has been really long. I know I haven't uploaded, but I'm back today and I'm sharing everything with you guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Vantasia. I am a 20 year old stay at home mom of three children. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell before you leave. I post videos like this weekly and I don't want you to miss anything. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. So make sure you guys stay until the very end. This video is long, but I did include some special clips to make it worthwhile. Today I'm going to be cleaning our living room, master bedroom, and I am going to be doing a deep clean of our kitchen. So make sure you watch until the end because you guys do not want to miss this extreme cleaning motivation. We have lots of things to do today. I made the kids something to eat before I started. Since I have a lot to do, I did not want them running up to me every so often asking for food. Y'all know how it is. Whenever you are cleaning and your kids are running behind you asking for something to eat, it kind of gets overwhelming. Since I am doing a deep clean of the kitchen, I wanted to first clean the house and then do a deep clean of the kitchen last. Y'all know whenever you are cleaning and decluttering, it's a mess in itself. So to avoid the huge mess so I don't get overwhelmed, I cleaned and decluttered after so I can only focus on what needed to be done. Jaden's birthday passed, London birthday is coming up, so we decided to celebrate both this past weekend. It was a lot of fun. We went to a bounce house for the kids and they freaked out. This video was filmed, but I didn't get a chance to post it until now, which is perfect timing, especially with the busy week we've had. to tell you about flus again i really really like it so my husband and i we are always looking into ways to save money especially now that we have birthdays until freaking january y'all i promise we have birthdays up until january so we need to save every single penny that we can save i found this app called flus and we both love it basically bottom line is you get cash back from your everyday purchases but it has a lot of perks which i like i'm going to tell you guys about it in just a second so y'all are going to want to download this app. If you would like to download this app to tag along with me while I am talking, I will have the app listed in my description box. If you use my link, Flues is offering you 35% at certain stores for you. I will go ahead and download it using my link. So it is completely free to use. You can earn money. And if you earn money through Flues, all of the money can be linked to your PayPal account. So you can either keep the money in your Flues account and just use it whenever you're purchasing things to pay that way, or you can cash out with your PayPal account. That's what I like. I think that's super easy and convenient. Like I said, this past week was crazy. We probably spent way too much money on birthday stuff, but it's good to know that we got cash back from the money that we were already going to spend. So I know you guys are going to say, but I already have this other app. Let me tell you about Flues. So with Flues, they don't just give you a one-time bonus. People sign up with you. Other apps, you only get a one-time bonus. With Flues, you have the opportunity to get money every month you have to put in the work but you have the opportunity to get money so if you lose you do get something in return if you invite people that are close to you or even somebody on the streets that you want to invite and they invite people they purchase from the app you get the cash back that they get as well so that person will be getting cash back and you will be getting cash back and it will go on and on and on so if they invite people they invite people you get what i'm trying to say i'm just going to show y'all how to use the app so this is how that this is how the app looks this app just click on it so many stores on y'all uber chipotle spotify home depot hulu domino's i don't know about y'all but we are always eating pizza from domino's cvs burger king panera bread steak and shake so there is a lot of stores that you can choose from to get cash back from so this is how you pay so we're going to choose chipotle Whenever you are at the cashier station, whenever you are ready to check out, it just says what is your total amount after taxes. So I'm going to say $15.89. So to this screen, and then you're going to have to purchase the gift card. You have to pay with your debit card. They will give you a gift card, and then the cashier will just scan the barcode that you have, and it will apply everything. So that's all you have to do. Again, then you're going to put in your total balance that's after taxes, and then you're going to get a gift card. The cashier is just going to scan the code for you. 
my husband and I, we have already been using this, so we have already gotten some cash back from the purchases have been made it is a bit different using this app to pay for things but i will say i would rather use the app to pay for something because my card information is already in there i don't have to give it to a new person every single time i'm trying to buy something so i kind of feel secure whenever i'm using this app so how you invite you just the copy url is right there see who's in your network so already my husband already has a few people in his network so what this means is each time these people buy something he will get cash back as well from their purchases pretty easy again if you would like to sign up using my link i will have the link in the description box let me know down in the comments if you're going to join so my initial plan was just to clean and declutter as i went but i could not do that y'all whenever i started i realized that that was going to be too much i was going to get too stressed out so i decided to split it up clean the house first and then go to cleaning and decluttering the kitchen this video was filmed ahead of time and just to let you guys know our kitchen is no longer like this i have already moved things around to different places if you see anything in our home that you know it has been moved let me know down in the comments kitchen is not the only thing that i am going to be decluttering today i am also going to be decluttering our tv stand you guys this tv stand gets so bad and even though i cleaned it on this day i'm pretty sure right now it is back to its natural state being cluttery i don't know what it is about this tv stand maybe because we know that it used to be a dresser we just throw everything into the drawers i will let you guys know i wasn't going to say anything yet but we are getting a new tv stand made for us you guys and i'm so excited it's going to be a white tv stand with the barn sliding doors you guys probably already know my style by now but i'm so excited to get the tv stand with this tv stand being white i constantly have to wipe it down and keep it clean i will let you guys know it looks good on camera but up close in person london and Jaden has drawn all over this tv stand there are red black crayon marks all over it It really doesn't bother me that I have to wipe things down in our house so often. My mom used to wipe things down all the time when we were growing up, so I feel like it kind of comes naturally to wipe things down all the time, whether it is dirty or not. Let me know that in the comments if you wipe things down all day long just like me. I think it's really funny because in the last video that I posted, my friend D commented and said, girl, with all the motivation that you post, I can't believe I never noticed that you guys had a closet in the hallway. And yes, girl, we do. I feel like I never showed this closet. And honestly, you guys, we forget about this closet too. There has been things in this closet that has been in there for a long time because we completely forgot that this closet was here and we had things inside of it. I did have some organizational bins that I had in this closet that I have been saving to add some new decor to our bathroom and add an organizational system to the bathroom so that's what I'm pulling out now just getting everything ready and seeing what I have You guys know that laundry is never ending so I have been working my butt off to stay ahead of the game. In my last video I was pretty behind because I had just let things go for about a week but I am ahead of the game now and I am so excited about that. So I've had a lot of people ask what laundry soap do I prefer or what do I use? I like to use the Young Living Thieves laundry soap. I also use the 7th generation laundry soap which I get from Target. Love using both of these laundry soaps if you guys have heard me in my past videos. My daughter has eczema, I have sensitive skin so whenever we find what works for us I like to stick to those things and this is what works for us.
Moving on to our kitchen, I really just needed to get this together. However, you guys, if you have been here since the beginning, you guys know that our kitchen can get pretty bad at times. So the fact that I didn't have that much to do, I was really excited about it. Today's comment of the day goes to Sagan Williams. Girl, when I saw your comment, I was cracking up laughing. So a few videos ago, I told you guys that if London does not want something in her room, she will basically throw it out into the hallway. And in my very last video, there was a small clip i didn't know that anyone would notice but i put some toys into london's room and she kicked the toys out it was so funny so thank you girl for noticing that and congratulations on winning comment of the day if you guys do not know what comment of the day is i will go through each day and pick my favorite comment and those winners will be entered into their own special giveaway which i will be having one very soon So I don't know if you guys remember or not, but a few videos ago I made some roast and I was telling you guys that on that night I just whipped together the roast real quick because my husband told me at the last minute that that's what he wanted for dinner and I ended up using some Dollar Tree aluminum foil and this is the result of me using that you guys. It was so hard to clean that pan out. That is something that I will never do again. You guys I won't lie now that our table is not like this I really do miss it I think I will go back to it I did switch it up which I showed you guys in my last video but I am missing this look did have to wipe a few spots on the wall that was next to London's chair y'all when this girl is eating dinner she touches anything and everything anything around her she touches it and she gets food everywhere in my next video I am going to go through and do a whole house deep clean so you guys are going to see me clean our walls which needs to be done because they are just terrible
So I've had a couple of people ask me questions about the shirts that I wear. I will have the link in my description box, but the thing about me is I love crew neck t-shirts. I am just like a lounge around the house type of girl. So crew neck t-shirts are just in my range. The shirt that I'm wearing today is from Field Divisions. I absolutely love the message behind these shirts. It says, will I make my dreams a reality or will I stay in my reality and keep dreaming? You guys, that hits home for me. That is why I absolutely love these shirts because the message behind it is so real and so raw so whenever I wear these shirts it puts me in a really good mood just knowing the message behind it is positive so I really love it Since I was doing a deep clean of the kitchen, I did not even want to get started on deep cleaning this living room because once I get started, I cannot stop. So I just went ahead and did a speed clean of the living room and moved on. You guys know my birthday is coming up. It's in December. And to remind you guys, I have a goal of 10,000 subscribers by my birthday in December. I am already at 6,000 subscribers, which I can't thank you guys enough. I am literally cheesing from ear to ear as I'm talking. I am just so ready and so excited to see when and how I will hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. It's free. Not only that, I like to think I'm a fun person and I cannot wait for you guys to see everything that I have planned for my channel. I also want to give a huge shout out to my OG subscribers, subscribers like Mediocre Mama, Jackie, D, Anna, everyone. You guys, if you go back and watch the videos from the very beginning, our house was completely empty. We literally had nothing here. So it is just nice to know that you guys are noticing the fact that we are growing and this house is becoming a home for us. So that makes me so sentimental. Thank you guys so much. Let me know down in the comments if you added fall decor this year. I know that fall is already here and there has been a lot of videos about fall decor, but I want to know if you guys added fall decor. What did you guys do? I'm kind of thinking about adding a few more things, but maybe it's too much. I don't know. I may not add it. I may just go ahead and go straight to Christmas. If this is your first time watching, I am now in my husband and I's room and let me tell you right now, our bedroom is not like this. If you are new to my channel, I will also let you know right now that I move things around a lot, which is one of the reasons why I love watching to vacuum do us part because she always posts videos like itch to switch and that is me you guys. I am always moving something around. If you have been here since the beginning, then you know maybe each video i have something different going on now that our room is moved around and we have it exactly how we want it i do want to add some more things i'm not going to tell you guys about it right now because i want everything to be set in stone before i decide to tell you guys because i am so excited and i can't wait to share my excitement with you guys but Hopefully soon I'm going to be adding something new to our bedroom and again I cannot wait for you guys to see it. If you guys don't know who this little cutie pie is that is following me around, this is my baby boy Jonah. He is actually not in a lot of my videos. He's in some of my videos but not like my other children but now he's almost one years old you guys and he is just getting into everything. He's going to be walking soon so you guys are going to be seeing him a lot. While I was cleaning the bedroom I had London and Jonah following me around everywhere and of course London did her duty to jump on the bed as soon as I made it. If 
you guys are probably confused right now like oh my gosh she has a half bath in her bedroom we've never seen her clean it you guys we rarely use this bathroom so i always forget to clean it So I still haven't ironed the curtains that we have in our bedroom. You guys, that is probably going to get done in my whole house deep cleaning video because taking all these curtains down and ironing them, that is too much. That is something that I actually haven't done in a long time, just flat out iron curtains, but it'll get done soon, I promise. Moving on to cleaning and decluttering this kitchen, you guys, it was a complete disaster. I did not do the whole entire kitchen. I only did the parts that really needed some work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, at the end of this video, I did add some special clips for you because I know that this video is getting kind of long, but thank you guys so much for watching. Earlier in the video, I said that I broke the cleaning up. I went ahead and cleaned the whole house first. And then after the house was clean, then I went through and clean and decluttered the kitchen. I feel like this will be easier whenever I clean and declutter. I like to take everything out so I can see what's going on and then decide where I want to put it. So I didn't want to do all of that while the kitchen was completely destroyed. really hard trying to get this kitchen clean and decluttered even though Jaden was not running up behind me wanting things London and Jonah were literally following me around everywhere and going in all the cabinets and taking everything out because they saw me pulling everything out so it was a struggle you guys y'all know how it is whenever you're cleaning and you have kids following you So I said earlier in the video that I moved things around. Well, not only did I move things around, I added new decor, which I showed you guys in my last video. So again, if you haven't seen that video, I will have it linked in my description box for you to watch. The drawer in the kitchen that I originally had our dish towels in, I went ahead and moved those. I moved the kids' plates and bowls to a different drawer. So just keep in mind whenever you guys are watching those parts that those things have been moved have end shots at the end of this video but they are a little bit different so i went ahead and gave you guys like an update on where we are today what's going on and what we're doing and how the house is looking at the very moment So the process that I am using to clean the cabinets and the drawers, I am taking everything out and then I will vacuum out the drawer and then I will wipe it down with my Thieves Household Cleaner. I love to do this about once a month because I find that so many crumbs and things, it can just get all inside the drawers and the cabinets. It's just nice to have those things done every so often. As you guys can see, these drawers look terrible. Guys, when I was cleaning these drawers and cabinets, London and Jonah were having the time of their life because they were empty and they could have just gone in them. After this video, I was freaking out because I was looking for London and you guys, the whole time she was in the cabinet being so quiet and when I opened it, she was cracking up laughing. It freaks me out that I couldn't find her, but it was cute to know that she was just playing because she knew I was cleaning. Y'all, I won't lie, I am feeling real salty that I spent so much time folding the towels in this drawer just to move them a couple days later.
kids plates and bowls i saw jessica have hers in the drawer i really like this method i think it's neat that the kids can grab these and get these on their own however i did move those to a different drawer because the kids have so many plastic plates and bowls they could not fit in this small drawer i don't know what i was thinking when i initially decided to put the kids plates and bowls in a drawer did notice as I was organizing the kitchen that we did need better organizational systems. Even though I am cleaning and trying to organize as I go, these things just won't work because we have so much stuff but not a lot of places to put them. So I need to get a better system going. So far you guys have seen me organize things in our home. Everything that I have gotten has been from the Dollar Tree. But I am noticing that when it comes to the kitchen, I would like to get the top notch organizational things just so they will stay in place and i can keep them for a long time the organizational stuff that we got from the dollar tree is holding up pretty nice but a couple things have broken and i don't want to if i'm going to spend money on organizing things i want it to be the stuff that's going to hold up for a long time still like to organize our refrigerator and maybe get a deep freezer so we can save more food so i am i am planning on doing a huge organizational video for you guys it will be my first all-out organizational video so i'm pretty excited to show you guys everything that i get This is the junk drawer that kind of just happened here in our kitchen. For a long time, we didn't have a junk drawer, and I feel like out of nowhere, a junk drawer just came. So it was really nice to see this drawer go from messy to clean and organized. Our spices are always a hot mess, you guys. I feel like it doesn't matter what I do, how much I try to keep things put away. This cabinet is so small that things get out of hand all the time. So I do need to figure out a system that works and figure it out soon because I am over this. Before I put everything back into the cabinet, I wanted to wipe everything down and make sure I didn't have anything that was expired. I feel like with spices, I grab so many whenever I'm at the store, so I never know if things are old or if I just got it because I don't keep up with them that well. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Let me know down in the comments if your spice cabinet is clean and organized or is it cluttery? know that somebody's gonna say down in the comments girl you don't have anything in those cabinets well yes girl you are right they are all in a dishwasher getting cleaned <laughs> so I am just taking the remaining things out and going to wipe these down since they were empty I decided to make use of this time and wipe something down honey 
I know that I never really shared this in past videos, but whenever I get rid of things in our home, I actually don't throw them away. I put them in a bag and set them to the side and then eventually they will make it to a place called the How Foundation. They literally take everything, you guys. Like if you can use it or even if you think it's broken, they will fix it and give it to people that need it. So that's where we take everything that we are no longer using. things in this cabinet that should have probably been in our pantry but I went through a phase where my daughter was going in the pantry getting snacks and throwing them all over the floor so I decided to move things around until we taught her better and now it's time to move things back to the pantry and let me tell y'all it was not fun So these two cabinets were our worst cabinets you guys it was very clear to me that i needed to get some pots and pans organizers some lid organizers and many other things because this was ridiculous This cabinet was almost like a clown car. It actually reminded me whenever I was at my friend's house decluttering her kitchen, which I will have that video linked in my description box. But I went to my friend's house to clean and declutter her kitchen as well. And this cabinet reminded me of that cabinet. If you know, then guess what? You know, that cabinet was terrible. Let me know down in the comments if you remember the clown car cabinet, because this is a remake of that. Now moving on to cleaning my stove, you guys already know that this is something that I put off for a long time so getting this off my list, it made me feel so good about myself because I did not want to clean this stove. Let me know down in the comments if you like cleaning your stove or not or if you're like me and you clean it about once every three months. In the stove I was using the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser and then I was using Brillo Pads. I was only using my Method Heavy Duty Degreaser because I am trying to get rid of it and since I don't always clean my stove I don't always use it but I am trying to switch to only using Young Living products so I just need to get rid of this that's why I was using so much of it. the oven was so terrible I was so embarrassed to show this but hey I had to show it it has to get clean and this is what happens whenever you don't clean your stove it gets messy so I shouldn't be ashamed of that This 
cleaning the stove, I wish I would have kept the sound on because the whole time London was like, ew, ew, need help, mommy, need help. And I thought it was so cute, you guys. So there is a clip of London trying to wipe things down. Since I wasn't using like natural products, I didn't want her to touch it too much or be around it or breathe in the toxic fumes. So I only let her do a limited amount. On the oven door, I didn't realize it whenever I was cleaning, but I guess I had something drip down in between the two glasses. So I have to now stick something down in there to clean that. I didn't do it in this video because I didn't realize it, but in my next video, I'm going to get that fixed right away. You have made it to this point thank you so much for watching my videos it truly means so much to me you guys already know what to do go ahead and drop some hearts down in the comments When it comes to cleaning the grates and things like that for the stove, I like to do that in the bathtub, but I did not feel like going through that hassle today, so I just went ahead and cleaned them in the sink. Right, you guys so we are nearing the end of this kitchen clean if you are still here thank you so much that means you get to see these very special clips here at the end of the video which i'm so excited to show you guys i am going to be showing you like a vlog style of what we had going on today and i'm also going to be showing you guys what we have for dinner tonight and come here come here london london stop it london london come here and Look at that baby girl in her shoes. You got them on the wrong feet. Oh, go girl. Go girl. Yes, honey. Aiden got new Legos for his birthday. Of course, you guys know Legos are his favorite. So we had to put those together right away. And he had so much fun. Jaden really wanted me to show you guys the process of him and his dad putting the Legos together and how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy this little clip of that.
wanted to show you guys what we were going to be having for dinner. We did something pretty easy this night since Jaden and London had a birthday party the day before and then Jaden had a friend spend the night. I wanted to do something really easy. Y'all know how draining a party can be, especially a party with preschool age kids, you guys. It was crazy, but it was so much fun. So on this night, we went ahead and made tater tot casserole. I won't lie to you guys. This was my first time making tater tot casserole, so don't judge me and how I made it. I just went off how I think I felt like I saw my mother-in-law make it. I may be wrong, but it was still really, really good. I am not a big cook. However, my husband does not cook at all. So I do have to learn as I go whenever it comes to cooking. The only stuff that I am used to cooking is Southern food because that's all my mama used to cook. But my family is very different. My husband grew up very different. So he is into some of the Southern cooking, but I'm trying to wing us off of all the fried foods and stuff like that. I'm trying to have us eat healthier. I did have a friend give me a lot of cookbooks. So I'm gonna be pulling recipes from those books. Actually, the other day we made some soup. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you saw the soup that we made. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I cannot wait to share the recipe with y'all did go ahead and add mixed vegetables to the tater tot casserole because my kids will not eat vegetables if I just put them out in front of them but if I mix it in with something else then they will eat it just fine let me know if your kids are the same way all together the ingredients that I have is a red bell pepper an onion tater tots frozen mixed vegetables cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, Kobe Jack cheese, and my husband decided to add mozzarella cheese to his slice. I did not taste it because I did add quite a bit of cheese to the mixture that I am mixing right now, but my husband told me it was really good. said for the past week I have been trying to make different foods because I feel like we always eat the same thing and at first I thought the kids were not going to eat anything but they have been loving it you guys literally every single bite has been gone from their plates at the end of the night Let me know down in the comments if you like tater tot casserole or how you make your tater tot casserole. Right now, I am layering the tater tot casserole with tater tots, then the casserole, then more tater tots and casserole. Is that what people do? Is this how you're supposed to make it? I know that you can just go online and look at a recipe, but I don't know why it just didn't click for me to go try and find a recipe. <laughs> husband did take the tater tot casserole out early so he can add mozzarella cheese again I did not taste it with the mozzarella cheese but my husband said it was really good do y'all add different types of cheeses to your tater tot casserole let me know Right, guys that is it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed everything that we did today I wanted to leave off with showing you guys how our house was looking at the end of the night before I laid down and went to bed and I also showed you guys me taking my rounds at the end of the night I like to go in and everyone's room and just check on them before I lay it down for the night so I'll talk to you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching